So defining roles and responsibilities, um, it's a team exercise that is primarily done by uh, four core practitioners, but we'll get to QA testers, user researchers, project managers, accessibility specialists in a moment. But it, it usually involves these three, pe uh, four people, user experience design, visual designer, content author, and front-end developer. So we go to the next slide. Exactly. So to, what about me? Where, where do these other roles fit in the ARM picture? And what I would say is that that ex the exercise that we're going to walk through, the framework I'm going to share, is generally done by those four people. But business analysts will, their responsibility as part of supporting this team exercise is to, as we all said, make sure that it's quick, uh, conformance issue performance requirements that you'll build as part of your organizational framework is incorporated into the business uh, an analysis. So then that feeds into this team exercise when people do the work and then the outcome of, of that framework exercise to assign ownership and responsibility for those tasks, QA testers will validate that the work, you know, after, after the great work has been done. Another point is that uh, user research, UX research is so important, not only just for usability, but which is tied to accessibility, but having a wide range of users regularly giving you feedback and, and telling your their user story. So we capture it and make sure that it's incorporated into the team exercise, right? So user researchers, some of the, through that research, feedback from end users may say, I have a complete barrier with this. Let's add it to that task list. And then let's conduct the exercise to find out who's going to help fix that. Project managers, you are responsible for supporting all the, the core practitioners and doing the exercise on a regular basis.